to early man, the sun was divine. But to modern man, the sun is a vast nuclear power plant that may hold the solution to his energy problems. At Spectrolab in California, engineers are studying ways of tapping this source of power. One way is by using solar cells. But solar cells are very expensive. It takes six hours to grow the giant crystals used. These crystals must be of a precise purity and then carefully cut into wafers. To reduce cost, mirrors and lenses are being used to concentrate more sunlight on new cells designed to operate at higher temperatures. If this research succeeds in reducing costs, a building's solar roof could fill all the energy needs of that building. At the Sandia Corporation in New Mexico, another approach is to employ solar collectors to supply all the heat, hot water, and electricity to a small office building. Photoelectric sensors track the sun as it rises in the sky and instruct motors to angle cylindrical mirrors until all light energy focuses on the tube at the center. Oil flowing through this tube is heated to 350 degrees centigrade and stored in an insulated storage tank that provides energy at night and on overcast days. The hot oil heats steam, which drives a generator and supplies heat and hot water to this nearby building. The McDonnell Douglas Corporation in Huntington Beach, California, plans to aim a field of mirrors at a boiler atop a tower. Using techniques developed to test aircraft wings, engineers place weights on a mirror section to learn how flat it will remain in high winds. They are also developing a post to support the mirror's targeting system. As shown by a reflected laser beam, the post remains almost totally stable in extremes of temperature and wind. The mirror and post are parts of a moving mirror system, or heliostat, which will reflect sunlight to a boiler atop a tower. Ray, would you slow it over about two degrees and azimuth, and I'll increase the servo Since day. the sun changes its position through the day and the seasons, a sophisticated control system must be perfected to keep its reflected beam on target. A different type of mirror system is being developed by the Martin Marietta Corporation in Denver, Colorado. It is a mosaic of 15 flat mirrors, each of which can be warped and aimed so its beam comes to a concentrated focus. Sunlight is so diffuse that until now man has used it only indirectly in the form of food or fossil fuel. But when he learns to concentrate it directly, its power is awesome. It is estimated that the solar energy falling on an area of only 250 square kilometers, if converted, could power the United States until the year 2000. In this test, the light of one heliostat is focused on a grid of hollow black tubes that absorbs 99% of the energy and rapidly heats the water flowing through it. The Martin plan calls for concentrating the light of 1,800 heliostats on a boiler atop a tower. When completed, the boiler will superheat water to 400 degrees centigrade and drive a generator that will satisfy all the energy needs of 1,500 people. The final performance of the boiler will be verified at the French Solar Center in the Pyrenees. Modern man is taking a new look at the sun.